Hello, I'm here in my shed. You probably hear the pitter patter of the rain on my roof, which to me is absolute heaven, is my little retreat and I love it. So I thought I would share with you this journal I made a few months ago and it's called Red Diamonds because, duh, because there are red diamonds in the cover and I really like this cover. Again, it's made of all bits of um, collaging, uh, PVA'd together. And there's even two uh, chocolate bars wrappings. It was actually my my friend Kat that came to visit me and I made her a cappuccino and uh, she started twirling around with the wrappings of the chocolate bars and made full bows and I thought I really liked that. I'm going to put them on my journal. So thank you Kat. So that's the front. The button is a, a wooden button that came near me and um, I just um, um, covered it in tissue paper and then painted it. The handle, it's even got a handle, it's the inside of a shopping bag and um, the back is more collaging. The um, signatures um, are a pure cheat because instead of um, binding them with twine or anything i just staple them all together and i think staples actually work really well i bought one of these long arm staples that you know you can um you can staple uh, large papers um and then the whole lot was put together with a um, felt blue felt and here we go Again, it's a collection of, of um, my usual mixture of papers and different things. These are images that my friend Susan gave me. And bits and pieces that I made or that I found. Textures that I made that I particularly liked. A little pop-up that Susan gave me. Oh, big kiss. Kiss to you all. Isn't that sweet? Used old drawings that I did a long time ago and I journaled on them. burning papers this is a uh, music paper that I burned with a candle I'm back to actually hand holding my iPad again because I find the, the tripod um, I don't have the same control I can never get the right angle it takes me ages to set it up and I actually find it easier to just holding my hands so sorry about a little a bit of wobbling pocket with my Italian identity card and I know um, well I will show you the picture of me in my much younger days very quickly because otherwise you just will piss yourself laughing you right that's all you're getting finished not getting any more this is the shopping bag with a very profound quote that says I can't help loving beacon rolls yep things inside this giant green paper bag little bits of collaging stitch of the machine I just put all sorts of um, papers together and stitch them together in the machine and then cut them into small squares and rearrange them in a new piece of collaging. Envelope. Yep. 
this is a certificate to say that my daughter Camilla um, did very well at her classes. Now, which classes were that? She did lots of different ones. Oh, that would have been Scottish dancing. Yep. So a little report for her, dated 1st of June, 1994. Wow. Little mirror. Hello, can you see my hand holding the iPad? Again, Susan gave me that mirror. Felt. Camilla and my grandchild. This is, was a very bad print from when I had a, a much worse printer than I have now and everybody's noses came out really, really red. But hey, who cares? It's fun. And a print, mono print from one of my uh, polystyrene tiles etchings. More journaling than sheets of music paper. Oh, this is um, I copied part of the the first chapter actually of the Petit Prince that I absolutely absolutely adore that story everyone should read that um, and I, I, I was just totally in love with it and it's it's in French and it's a gorgeous story Daily Paper just because I love the noise of it by Antoine de Saint Exupéry wow like my accent? Pretty good, eh? Very bored girl. Another little certificate um, for my daughter dancing class. little print of a drawing I did ages ago. Golden City. I love the noise of print white paper and I do. Pocket. Flaps. A horrid drawing of a doll I did years ago. Really horrid. Some corrugated cardboard. Sweetie paper. I like the face of this guy. So dreamy. And I've got a quote here that says once you're free of the limiting idea that you need to preconceive your painting you can see directly you can sense directly allowing all sorts of spontaneous images to arise absolutely true pastel bird my favorite flower my partner makes a lot of bread and he likes to use granite flour mixed with white flour and it's really yummy doily
This is a wooden postcard that somebody painted for me and I bought, which I think is really cool. More stuff underneath. A watercolour I did ages ago, um, slices of cucumber and a pot plant and a very textile background. Three dimensional paint, really like it. But it tends to dry quite a lot in its uh, bottles unless it's used a lot. Here's another little pop-up, which is not going to work, is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. should work too, but not for a difficult one hand. Yes, I got it. Dee, 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 dee. And there's a guy behind it. See his eyes? Dee, dee. And that's it. That's it, guys. That's my colour at the back. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.